Hey, good evening, everyone. It has been a while. I do apologize. Uh, what's going on today? A uh, little bit of a bad setup. No microphone, just recording on the, uh, the laptop's microphone here. Uh, and the situation. Uh, my desk PC, an old off-lease thing, FreeBSD, died. Setting up a new one. Why don't we look at uh, NetBSD 10.1 and uh, get a chance to try out a little USB capture. So let's get into it. Um, this is going to be NetBSD 10.1 off of a USB image for the install. So let's hope the, hey, it looks like the video capture is doing its thing. We're going to boot the installer. Let's see. So NetBSD is really cool. We're going to do some some other stuff with it. This one hopefully should be really quick um, just to do the install, um, run through it, uh, get a booted system. Then I can get a video capture on the system uh, rather than having to do this with the capture. Uh, and we can actually get some software up and running and then do some other cool stuff, uh, maybe some virtualization, some other things. Uh, we're gonna no change in uh, my keyboard set. We'll install to a hard disk. Um, the disk in here we have a well, a half terabyte NVMe. Just use the default partition sizes. Um, so we're booting uh, EFI. So we have an EFI partition. Our big, you know, 450 uh, gig. Change the input unit size. We'll do gigabytes. So 444 gigs there. Oh, the mouse and keyboard is driving me crazy. Um, so we'll say oh, that must be my yeah. It must be the mouse. The uh, keeps disconnecting. I need a new mouse. Uh, so we are ready to go. Uh, create the file systems. We're gonna put X on here because we're gonna be using it. I'm gonna be using it as my my desktop. The full installation, install image, and this should go pretty quick. Um, this PC here is again just another off lease, you know, small form factor thing. I like them for my secondary uh, desk workstation, right? So I have a MacBook for work, and then I have this is kind of the secondary uh, machine. And if you hear a little background noise, that's uh, that's one of the cats causing a causing some drama. He's very excited about this whole operation. So this is uh, proceeding apace here. See how quick it is. NetBSD is great, um, by the way, but haven't had it on real hardware in in some time. So it'll be a, a fun exploration here. Get a root password. Going to want to. We're definitely going to want networking. Um, we are going to use the onboard, and I do have another uh, a dual port card in there. We'll do some other stuff, but give it a host name. And Domain. And we are going to be in central time here. So Chicago. We are definitely going to want package in. Um, for the binary packages, we're also going to have package source. So this is one of the advantages I find for NetBSD is that it uses package source, which is uh, can be used across on Linux. Um, on the Illumo side, uh, package source is, is common as well. So we got that. So we're going to want package source as well. This may take a minute. This has got to download the uh, the whole package here. Um, so one of the things I wanted to play around with with NetBSD, which I you know, obviously use it as a, a VM image, 
but I want to take a look at it as a hypervisor um, because it now, I think since what NetBSD 9 has NVMM, so it has its own uh, you know, virtualization setup, its own hypervisor, which I think will be uh, fun to play with. So again, I do apologize with the, the background cat noise. Um, you know, longtime viewers may remember snoring dogs. We've uh, we've come away from that and now have rapscallion cats. So uh, package source is doing its thing here. Yep, we want SSHD. We don't need NTPD. We do want to sync time on boot. Yeah, let's do XDM. Oh, this mouse, I need to get a new mouse. Um, let's add a user. My video demo. Yeah, I want to be added in wheel. Uh, it's going to stick to the regular shell. So at this point, uh, we are done with the install. Uh, we're going to reboot here and see how things go. Just hard shut down. I don't feel like waiting for. Um, unplug the USB. And reboot. Uh, bringing up the network. This is fast. So one of the, the big advantage NetBSD has what a few big advantages. Package source, so shared with Linux and Illumos. Um, it's small, but it's also really portable. So we can do NetBSD across so many platforms. And hey, we're up with a with the display manager here. And we get a beautiful, what is this? CTWM desktop. Well, that's it for now. Leave a comment if you want to see anything in particular about NetBSD. Otherwise, I'll be back for another one when I get screen recording set up on here, um, rather than having to use the video capture device. And we can take a look at adding some software um, and uh, using NetBSD as a hypervisor. Thanks, as always. Bye.